Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, quite possibly one of the biggest franchises there is to this day. It is based off the original Japanese Super Sentai series, Zyu Ranger. And it had, you know, what you would expect in a Saturday morning cartoon from the early 90s, over the top martial arts action with some cool Zord battles with the Rangers, Dino Zords versus Rita Repulsa's monsters. Now, I say this is going to be a brief video, for this is not due to a lack of interest or lack of caring. Fear not. That is not how we do things on MJ Night TV. No, it is simply because I would, ra I, I would rather play to my strengths, so instead of giving you a huge report this high, but with only this amount of video footage available, I thought I would try and meet things halfway so that I am able to comment on what is available and play to my strengths. My apologies for the inconvenience caused. What do we do now? If you were a pre-teen in the early 90s, chances are you were glued to your TV screen on Saturday mornings to see the larger-than-life characters defend the populace of the fictional city of Angel Grove in which five very different teenagers are chosen by the intergalactic being known as Zordon to defend the city by bestowing the power of the power coins that draw their power from ancient dinosaurs. Although, it should be noted, if you're going to be accurate, the only dinosaurs in this were the Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. While a pterodactyl did exist in the Mesoic Era, it is not a dinosaur. Although, the Mastodon and the Sabertooth Tiger did not appear until millions of years later after the dinosaurs became extinct. Although, it should be worth noting that in the Japanese version, the Rangers' dinosaurs are called Shigoizu, hope that's pronounced correctly, and they functioned as mechanical deities. But ask yourself this question. What's easier for a seven-year-old American to able to pronounce properly and memorize? Shigoizu or dinosaurs? Makes you think. Jason the Red Ranger, played by Austin St. John, Zack the Black Ranger, played by Walter Jones, Trini the Yellow Ranger, played by Thuy Trang, Billy the Blue Ranger, played by David Yost, and Kimberly, played by the beautiful and talented Amy Jo Johnson. Each ranger had a specific dinosaur in correlation to their power coin. The Red Ranger had the Tyrannosaur dinosaur, the Black Ranger had the Mastodon, the yellow saber-toothed tiger, the blue triceratops, and the pink pterodactyl. All of these five zords would come together to form what was considered at the time to be the ultimate battle machine, the Megazord. A sixth ranger would be added to the lineup in what is the only five-part miniseries to date in any incarnation of Power Rangers. This is when Jason David Frank, considered the greatest ranger of all time to some, was cast in the role of Tommy Oliver as a new high school student, and we've all heard the jokes, Hi, I'm Tommy, I'm new, if he was ever voiced by Christian Bale. Thanks. And he initially squares off with Jason in a karate competition at the Juice Bar, and has eyes for Kimberly. Haven't we all? Of course, I am talking about the Green with Evil story. It was good writing of how he was recruited and brainwashed by Rita to become her evil Green Ranger and use him as the very tool to bring down the Power Rangers. To the fall of Zordon and the destruction of the Power Rangers! He was able to enter the command center, as, as all we all know. Only those with a power coin are able to do so. And he disables Zordon's connection to the world and shuts down Alpha 5 and even manages to get into the Megazord cockpit, sending the Rangers out. And of course, let's not forget his own Zord, the Dragon Zord, and it is badass. It ultimately comes down to Jason destroying the Sword of Darkness, freeing Tommy from the spell Rita had placed over him, and he becomes the sixth member of the team. Tyrannosaurus! Yeah! yeah. We're, good. We're ready to morph into action! 
six working together to fight evil and stop Rita and all her menacing monsters from destroying our planet Earth and ruling the universe with evil. Look out, Rita! We're not backing down. We're the Power Rangers. Tommy would sadly lose his powers in the two-part Green Candle story as a means of Rita stealing the Green Ranger power back and saving face as a means for losing the Green Ranger power to Zordon. And even though Tommy's power drained, he hands his coin to Jason, which stops Rita from regaining control of the Dragon Zord and the various other Green Ranger powers. <sighs> He was supposed to go off and film Cybertron, which later became VR Troopers, but he would make a return as the Green Ranger later on in the season due to his overwhelming popularity. And his powers were on a very limited basis due to the nature of their restoration in the two-parter Return of an Old Friend. The main highlight of the season was the two-parter Doomsday, as this, as this was thought it would be the end. But the skyrocketing popularity of the show made the creator Haim Saban contact the Rangers of Zuranger Ranger to make fit to make footage just for Power Rangers. So, twenty years on since we first heard the legendary words, "It's Morphin Time." How does this first season hold up? Well, you have to take it at face value. I mean, at the time. You think it's the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. And at the time, he was World Wrestling Federation Champion, so that's relevant. But when you look at it years later, you, you tend to cringe at it a little. But at the same time, you remember the fond childhood memories it gave you on those Saturday mornings. Is it... am I saying it's awful? Good lord, no. No, 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 no. Is it in the same depth and storytelling as, say, Batman the Animated Series or the first Iron Man movie? No. Although, Mighty Morphin Iron Rangers, I definitely watched that. Imagine if all the Zords, and even Zordon, was voiced by Jarvis. Rangers, there is an emergency in Angel Grove. But know this. The series definitely had, had its memorable points, with the awesome Zord battles and Bulk and Skull being the comedy relief to be able to ease the tension where it need be. Roses are red, violets are blue. No girl in the world's gonna go out with you. <laughs> hey, 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 stop. Stop, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I hope still I'm trying. Like I say, and the other thing that really made this series work is the soundtrack that Aaron the Mighty Raw Waters provided for this, especially with the Green Rangers theme song. We all know it. We all know it so well. 20 years on, it's still amazing. I call on the power of the Dragon Sword. And what's frustrating is not too many shows today have the same production value or the same rewatch value as shows did back then. Well, here's to another 20 years. May the power protect you always.